Ghosted out on Apple TV+. Plus. This is one ugly poster, by the way. Really, everything about it just looks awful, which is a good indication of how the movie turned out, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, new action rom-com starring Chris Evans and Anna de Armas. It was directed by Dexter Fletcher, who previously made Rocketman, which I loved. Unfortunately, there is little love to be had for Ghosted. Um, the story follows Chris Evans' character Cole, who is a farmer. He meets a girl, Anna de Armas, they go on a date, they really hit it off, things look great, but then she keeps ignoring his text on the, the texts on the next day. So fearing that he's been ghosted, he decides to go for this great romantic gesture and personally find her. And then it turns out she works for the CIA. Uh, she's a super spy who is working to stop some international criminals, terrorists from obtaining a bioweapon. The terrorists kidnap Cole, thinking he's actually the spy, and he gets completely mixed up in this whole affair, in this ridiculous James Bond-esque caper. Uh, it's rough. It's really, really, really rough. Uh, the script and the dialogue are absolutely atrocious. Uh, it made me think of the ongoing writer's strike in Hollywood, where one of the smaller talking points is the possibility of AI replacing writers and, and working on scripts. Well. This one feels like it was written by a bot, and, and I mean that in the worst way possible. And if if this is the risks, the risk that, that the writers are facing, I'd say there's nothing to fear. It feels corporate, hollow, and empty. The jokes are not funny, uh, the flair and charisma isn't there, and the whole thing is, of course, largely nonsensical. Uh, there are a bunch of cameos which feel very forced. Uh, the two leads have barely any chemistry, which is surprising because they, they were in Knives Out together and they had real chemistry in that film, so I don't know what happened in Ghosted. The movie looks like a cheap television show with very sterile show sets and uninspired look. Uh, the camera work and the editing are very pedestrian. Music choices just abysmal. Uh, the film uses a lot of pop songs and the way they're, they're used made me think of the original Suicide Squad where it felt extremely forced and on the nose. Same thing here. Worst of all, it's boring. It made me tired of watching it, which is not something you want from a simple fun flick. It's not even so bad that it's funny, it's just unentertainingly awful. Uh, stay away from this one, there's really no reason to waste two hours of your life.